Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, what other way to cap off another week right here on Expresso than with your weekly dose of Fashion Fix on Vogue and on time? And this is your one-stop shop for curated news. You can use everything you need to know to start your day. So here to bring us into the fashion light is our style squad, Expresso That's fashion cool. editor, Nick Stratus, everybody! Yeah. Make some yeah. noise. And then yeah, we have editor, <laughs> in chief at Al South Africa, Kelly Ford. <laughs> Listen, Nick, don't She's feel guest. bad. Guests don't are feel always bad. welcome more than, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. than the regular. Uh, yours was like a pity clap. It was Anyways, right. um, it was Nick, right. it's been a really, really busy. You're so mean to me. <laughs> It's been a really busy week in the week of fashion, in the pass. lives of fashion, in yep. the world of fashion. Yep. What is your one big story for the week, my friend? So girl, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still reeling from the royal wedding. Got that hangover. I am obsessed still. Got that hangover from the royal wedding. Yes. I mean, that was, what, the biggest event we've seen? <gasps> I was glued to my Instagram and the TV screen yeah. at the same yeah. time. And then Look this. at them getting into the little this. baby oh. car. Oh. I, I'm in train. love. I'm in love with love. I'm in love with them. Me too. And her Selma McCartney dress Beautiful. for me was the highlight, more so than her actual main wedding dress. I preferred it. Right? Yeah. Right. Harry getting in that car, he drives, guys. He that's drives. so nice. That's wonderful. So this prompted me to think, okay, we need to do a 2018 fashion report. We've got yes. to think about it. So we think about the fairy tale wedding dress, which we've seen in the past. This we've is very it. quintessential mm -hmm. wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at Mariah Carey literally with an entire tree in, her, in her hand. An entire, carrying <laughs> that tree Save home. the trees. <laughs> well, we've seen List.com, which is this uh, amalgamation site, a trend forecasting sort of agency. They've predicted this whole new wave of wedding dresses stemming from female empowerment. Oh, wow. So we've seen huge, huge leaps in balance right? in female empowerment. Right. The I jumpsuit. I remember the jumpsuit. Oh, Why is Solange riding a bike to her wedding? Because she didn't have the car that Prince Harry had. All right, or Beyonce took the car. Yes, she was like, baby yes. sis, you gotta You got the bike. bike, you got the bike. But this leads so us this is a thing now? This is a thing now. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. do you... Well, I think it's, it's such a, you know, it just says how much things have changed. That, you know, weddings aren't seen as the same way anymore. Yeah. Jumpsuits are definitely a, a way to go and, and to and look end. differently. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. When it comes to color as well, we're seeing a huge turn from quintessential white to colorful dresses. Yes. Colorful dresses? So what seeing... do you mean? <laughs> What does colorful mean? What do you yeah, mean? Stuff. No, I'm not, not a fan. What does I, mean? I don't know. Okay, but listen, let's this. throw it back. This is Liz Taylor, one of her 12 weddings. Um, Kira Knightley in the middle, and okay. then obviously Posh and Bex back <gasps> I in. Did she get married that? in purple? This was her after wedding. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we've seen huge spikes and increases in colorful dresses, particularly in black. <gasps> I black remember. Black wedding dresses yes. are on the rise. I'm not sure about uh, this. Did not they get divorced? Yeah. Yes. See, that's why they I think were, it was the dress. It was the dress. Uh, Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta is also one of my divorced. absolute favorites. Okay. Oh, yes, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. she looked great for the day, which yeah. is all that matters. It's a good thing that T Tina's not with that other guy. Tina. Um, Tina Turner. Listen, Luke uh, Watson's wife also got married in this beautiful oh. black yes. velvet dress. I remember dress. that. I remember that I one. Do you remember that was that? the first time that we'd seen a South African wearing a black dress. In black dress. dress. But yes. black dress is on the rise. Something like 38% increase from last year. Mm. But this leads me to sort of the worst dresses that we've seen in the past. This is not fashion <laughs> inspo for people. You do oh, not want to take wow. cues South Africa from some of these bad boys. <gasps> Celine Dion! Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Oh, she her looks... dress will go on. And on. Oh, and that veil too. And on. And that veil. Rita Wilson, oh Tom Hanks. Anyway, that's very, very, very much a disaster. Oh my goodness. Um, my gosh. But then we're talking about influential weddings of the last year as well. These have been rated as the top three most influential weddings of the last year, and I'll tell you why. So first we have Emily Radishkowski, actress model. Mm -hmm. Her future husband proposed to her over dinner in New York right. City with a paperclip. Oh. Do you want a paperclip? No, I don't. You are. That's why that. I'm alone. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saw increases in mustard yellow mm. through the roof after she wore this suit, and we're seeing this very much on the rise as well, Ooh. including for men as well, but mustard yellow is sort of the go-to color. Serena Williams' wedding was number two on the list of most influential weddings. Oh, look at She her. wore three dresses on the day, but it was wow. her studded Nike Cortez shoes <gasps> that saw increases of nice. something like 40, 50% in that week. Of course. She looked incredible. She three dresses. Look and then finally, Pippa. Pippa. Pippa Middleton. Pippa. Pippa. The world's most influential wedding, according to List.com, was Pippa Middleton. Wow. Um, sister to Kate, of course. of course. She wore a designer named Giles Deacon to the mm -hmm. wedding. Yeah. Spikes of him and his wedding dresses soared like 200% in that wow. week as well. Look how tiny a waist is. She's got a small waist, girl. But Leanne, this, this leads me to, I, I'm feeling very wedding-y. I'm, I'm in the mood for love. Are you in the mood for love? I'm always in the mood for love. Something's just come over me and I just want to 
I just want to oh do something. God. I want to profess my Are love. you guys going to do something? It's what are you guys going to do? <laughs> Will you marry me, Leanne Williams? <laughs> Yes, it's an earring, but I didn't have time, and I'm going to clip it on your ear, Thank girl. Thank you. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. oh, you guys, never, you're ever, the, ever. You're the groom. L why am I the groom, though? Because just... I'm elegant. And, Take oh, it back. God. I don't want your you proposal are a anymore. Fine, I'll give it to Kelly. Uh, we actually do love each other. Well, you know what? It's been another Friday, <laughs> another oh. best in fashion news trending now. That is our fashion fix on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Oh. Head to our Expresso Show Facebook page and tell us all about your dream wedding dress. We would love to hear from you. Give me my ring back. Fine. Thank you. Third wheel here.